I just want to make it clear, no one forced me to be here. No one put a gun to my head. I'm here on my own free will, my own accord. And Kat, <laughs> thank you for inviting me. Very nice to see you. All Very right. nice to have you at Juju and, uh, East today. This will be an education for me at Let's Eat. We've been covering a lot of, of shall we say, the more extreme, not so healthy stuff. And this is the really, literally the first time that we're doing something that's actually good for me. Tell me something. How do Filipinos react to salads? Are we a salad eating people? I would have to say that um, the answer is probably not. Mm -hmm. But we are here to change that. Right. We really want to be the company that rebrands the salad and makes people recognize it as something totally satisfying and, um, and absolutely crave-worthy. I agree with you because uh, most other parts of the world, especially in the first world, like you go to San Francisco, you walk around lunchtime down yeah. Market Street, down the main financial yeah. area, and everyone's, half the people are yeah. eating salads it's or wraps. It's normal. And I think the perception is, in the Philippines, you don't get full yes. with a salad. There's, there's some sort of a yes. mental block that prohibits yeah. us from ordering a salad for lunch. And they also have this thought that if you're eating salad, you're so sad. It's yes. kawawa, right? You, you, you're you're not getting satisfied. Depressed right you're now. getting depressed. But I'll change that. No. Well, I think, you know what? But you can't blame them, though. Because for the longest time, when they order salad, what do they get? It's iceberg lettuce. You know, it's kind of a sad tomato and some Thousand Island dressing. And that has been passed off as a salad for years. So, um, and it's never really been the hero of the meal. That's it's true. always just something right. on the side. And however, it's the healthiest part of your meal. And, um, Good point. Yeah. Good point. So right? our food is low carb. Um, we still have all the protein that you want. I okay. want to mention that you can still have bacon and right. you can still have pork, yeah, chicken, can you and everything. That? Bacon. There will there is bacon, bacon here. There and is I bacon. will put bacon on my salad. Yeah. But a smidgen, a smidgen. Yeah. Okay, I'm here for the veg. So it's all okay. about proper proportioning. You know, normally when you have a meal. Uh, sad to say, um, you have a chunk of meat mm -hmm. and a lot of rice right. and the vegetable is like a little bit on the side. So we want to switch that up a bit. We want yeah. to give you more of the vegetables and still have your protein, which we know that you need in just the right quantity. Right. Well, let's call our salad master. I want to make yeah. my own. So uh, here at Juju okay. Eats, you can make your own salad and you have a plethora. Yeah. You have a multitude of toppings to choose from. There are 50 different toppings and uh, accoutrements and ingredients here that you can use. And how many dressings do you have? 14. 14. Yeah. So all in all, you've got around 5,000, probably more, more. right? Probably more. We, more. Stopped, we, we just stayed with 5,000. 5,000 just sounds good, yeah. yeah? And now, for something completely different. A lot of people have accused me of having something called lacanophobia. That's a fear of eating vegetables. I am here to disprove that theory. Today, this very historic day, I am going to eat nothing but greens, nothing but salads, and would I love them? I'm going to try to love them. Because here, we're not just going to go for let's eat, we're going to go Juju Eats. Food's coming. I'm feeling faint. Okay, I think I need my See, protein. Let's feed Some people believe that I have a fear of vegetables. Let me just um, get rid of that misconception That's right. right now. And uh, this is my very own spanky salad. That's right. Um, this is one of a million combinations. I like this because it's a salad that contains two of my favorite greens. Lettuce, basil, right. and cilantro. cilantro. What do we have here? This is a Sicilian pasta salad. This okay. is a seasonal offering for us at the moment. Okay. But it's coming across really well. People love it. Kids love it. This is a wrap, but it's a beautiful wrap. It's, right. it's like a burrito yeah, almost, Yeah, it right? is, it is. It's literally a burrito. You know, so you and, just have uh, a little bit of starch around it. What's inside? It. This is the aikaramba. Okay. It's a little bit spicy. It's okay. got chicken, it's got beans, it's got cheese, it's, um, it's a jalapeno, of course. Okay. This is yeah. Uh, so oh, dessert. Yes, because it's complete. And this, this dairy free. Dairy, dairy, dairy free, free parfait, okay. yeah. And here another mango chia pudding. This is our take on like the Thai mango sticky rice. Beautiful. This one. It's a Sicilian puttanesca in a pasta salad. So all very Italian, all very Sicilian. 
and fresh. Look at that. that, that's gorgeous. Pretty good too. Beautiful. But the question I want to ask you is, did you feel deprived? I don't feel deprived, I feel satisfied. Okay. I've enjoyed my meal, I'm enjoying my desserts, and there's a whole range of options here, and um, again, it's all about balance. It's all about health and that's what calibration. Makes, it's so exactly that's what makes Juju is a great option. So thanks Kat for hey. I'm so excited to have you. It's my, you my, my mind to is watch. opening now. My yeah. mind is opening out to the possibilities. Absolutely. Thank you for introducing me. Thank you so much for coming. Okay. I'll be back. I look meantime, forward to it. That's it. Yeah, there you go.